Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about chemical vapor deposition method for nanomaterial synthesis. Before going to that, I would like to give just brief introduction regarding nanomaterial synthesis. There are two different approaches for nanomaterial synthesis. That is, one is top-down approach and another one is bottom-up approach. Top-down approach is taking bulk material and cut away that material. And finally, we can make certain nanomaterials, which are in the range of 1 to 100 nanometer size. Whereas bottom-up approach is building what you want by assembling atom by atom or molecule by molecule. So this is bottom-up approach. And there are three methods for the synthesis of nanomaterials. One is physical method, and second one is chemical method, and third one is biological method. By using physical, chemical, and biological, met met biological methods, we can synthesize nanomaterials. And coming to the chemical vapor deposition method, so it is a chemical method which is widely used in industries for high temperature protection and erosion protection. And it is the technique in which substances that are in vapor phase are going to be condensed to generate solid phase material. The whole process occurs in a vacuum chamber. And in this, the precursors and gas or vapor will react at high temperature and then decompose and finally form nanomaterials. So in this method, uh, metalloorganic compounds are used as precursors. And carrier gas is bubbled through a precursor at room temperature. And the vapor stream that is introduced at a controlled rate into a vacuum chamber via needle wall. So this is the whole process. Carrier gas is uh, preferably an inert gas we use in this uh, CVD. Uh, just imagine here the carrier gas is uh, carrier gas we are sending. And here is the needle wall, which, have, uh, uh, which has uh, control over the flow of this carrier gas. So that means the concentration as well as a rate of flow of this carrier gas is controlled with this needle wall. And here is the reservoirs. And these reservoirs are for precursors. So particular precursor for the synthesis of nanomaterial is taken in these reservoirs. And again, we have uh, here two needle walls. And uh, these are also to control the concentration as well as uh, rate of flow of uh, uh, the vapor stream that is coming out. So how this process takes place, now we will see. First step is carrier gas is bubbled through the precursor. And these precursors are always, they are uh, maintained in vapor phase. and here, I told that there are two precursors. So this is the advantage or salient feature of CVD. So by using this CVD, we can prepare doped nanomaterials and also coated nanomaterials. And this is the furnace. So this shaded part shows the hot zone of the furnace. And this furnace is maintained at a very high temperature. And precursors or vapor stream is coming out, will enter the furnace. And here it undergoes chemical reaction. So that is actually the vapors would be reacting with each other. So that means the precursors and the carrier gas at high temperature, they are going to be react with each other and finally the nanoparticles are formed as clusters as it pro proceeds so the uh, atoms would aggregate and then they form clusters and 
these clusters will enter the then enter the collection chamber and this is the collection chamber and this collection chamber is always evacuated that is no other chemical is present inside the collection chamber and this collection chamber is connected to vacuum pump and this collection chamber is fitted with the cold finger here you are seeing cold finger and this is actually a substrate uh, which is maintained under very low temperature that is actually we use uh, liquid nitrogen to maintain very low temperature and this cold finger is always rotating so when carrier gas is pumped through precursors and at the hot zone of the furnace the atoms are formed and as it proceeds the clusters are formed and these clusters will uh, hit the cold finger just imagine uh, these clusters would be hitting the rotating cold finger so i hope you can imagine how these clusters get deposited on the cold finger so when they hit the clusters hit the uh, substrate of the cold finger so they are going to deposit it on the substrate of the cold finger so that means first carrier gas then precursors then vapor stream and then finally the nanomaterials as clusters deposition so that's why the name chemical vapor deposition and as it proceeds continuously the particle deposition also continuously happens and after that uh, we have to run a scraper throughout the cold finger uh, so to scrap uh, the powder which is uh, deposited on the cold finger so the scraped powder is collected at the bottom and collected powder will be sent to compact unit for further analysis so this is the overall process of uh, cvd so here the metallo organic compounds are used as a precursors and the carrier gas is usually an inert gas and vapor stream is introduced into the vacuum chamber and then furnace and then finally what is going to happen here thermal decomposition of molecules takes place forming small particles finally these small particles condense on liquid nitrogen cool rotating substrate which is nothing but a cold finger and then finally we can scrap that powder and further uh, we can send it to uh, for further analysis so this is all about a chemical vapor deposition and coming to the advantages of a chemical vapor deposition as uh, i already told this is usually widely used in industries and this is a relatively pure it gives relatively pure product and it requires a low power input and a lower temperature range is required for this and then we can synthesize uh, doped nano materials as well as uh, coated nano materials by using cvd and by varying temperature and by varying the catalyst concentration precursor concentration we can control the yield of nano materials so these are the advantages of uh, cvd and this is all about uh, um, cvd uh, i hope you understood well chemical vapor deposition method thank you so much